Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter the Mozart Prophets. And today, we're going to be looking at a collab between Amal Brokhoops, Michaela, Michaela, and uh, Anas Kissmeyer. Uh, this is, I like the name on this, it's the Drei van Denen, or Drei van Denen, uh, which is kind of a little pun on, on Drei van Denen in Belgium. It's a 9.5% ABV uh, Baltic, smoked Baltic porter. And it's one they made in a collab. It says some info on the back here. It's in Danish though, but it's said that um, it says something that like when creative minds meet, uh, or when they met, the creative minds of these brewers met, uh, there was a lot of sparks and smoke of creativity, and which eventually also ended up in the beer, something like that. And then that is brewed in collaboration with Anas Kismaya, who was behind Novo Boy Coops and Kismaya Beer now. And then uh, Mikkeler, Mikkeler Bobbiausi. And then uh, it says here it's also brewed with dark malts, smoke malts, and it's been balanced, blown, it's been <laughs> balanced by um, English licorice, honey, and Muscovado sugars, sugar, which is kind of cool. Um, I had this at the beer festival in Copenhagen. I had both the regular version here and the barrel aged one. I think it's in cognac barrels, and both were really nice. So um. Yeah, let's get it cracked open and see how it is. Of course, I'm going to be using my Ama Boikhoops glass. Traditional Ama Boikhoops cap. I can smell that smoke already. Yeah, nice. Okay, but well, here it is. Wow, that was huge head, a huge head. It's missing away. Nah, not really, actually. Sticking around. Nice. A huge forefinger. That was a really bad pour. Um, tan, roasted looking head. It's a pitch black color. Opaque, you can't see through it. I uh, maybe you can see a little bit of like reddish tones in the sides of the glass, but that's about it. But let's check out the aroma. Mm, yeah, definitely the smoked malt. Oh yeah, I love that. Been a while since I had a nice smoked beer. Uh, some burnt notes, sweet sugar. You can definitely smell that Moscovado sugar because it's got some like sweet sugary es uh, kind of essence to it. And the smoke is kind of, it's kind of like a burnt, woody kind of smoke. I wouldn't say it's meaty that much. It's it, maybe kind of like a smoked sausage or something, but it's not as meaty as like an Asian A Little bit of dark fruit, licorice notes. Honey doesn't really stand out in the aroma. I don't really smell any honey at all, to be honest. Yeah, maybe a little bit of a, like a dark chocolate along with the roast. Coffee definitely. It smells pretty nice. I really like the addition of the smoky notes in there. Um, smoked Baltic Porter, interesting. Let's give it a taste, guys. Cheers. Ooh, yeah. The smoke is kind of dominating on the palate, on the flavor, which is nice. I like smoked beers. The first flavor that hits you is definitely smoke with a really hefty, especially in the aftertaste, taste, like burnt and ashy note. It's kind of like a bonfire type smoke flavor. Um, it isn't really meaty in the flavor, it was more in the aroma. Yeah, nice little bit of a woody character. I also get like an almost chalky mouthfeel to it. Well, the, I'd say the body is like a medium to full. It's got a nice, real smooth, silky mouthfeel, but a nice, uh, subtle, chalky feel to it. I think that might be because I got some yeast in or something. Uh, it looks like it's going to leave some nice, nice and too. Because it is, it, 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 it's blended with a nice and sweet flavor with that powerful roast. Because it's, <coughs> it's pretty intense on the roast and it's a really burnt, ashy kind of roast flavor. Also, you get some coffee notes in the back end now. Um, wow, that's some nice lacing on there. Um, the, the chocolatey kind of aroma was there. I don't really get much of a chocolate flavor in the taste. Um, it's more just that really burnt, rich, kind of roasted flavor. The licorice is also present, but again, it's, it's not really that dominating in the beer. I get more of that burnt, kind of charcoal-y, actually, flavor, too. 
You don't taste the 9.5 percent alcohol at all, really. Um, it, it's very well hidden. Uh, it's a big beer. Uh, it's a really interesting beer. Uh, I think I remember liking the cognac version uh, better than this, but it's still a nice smoked Baltic porter, uh, which is not a thing you see. Uh, smoked beers is not a thing you come across that often, so it's nice to get one once in a while. Um, I'm guessing this is kind of inspired by beers like Tista Limfjord's porter and Vipo uh, Imperial Stout. What was it? Vipo Porter Imperial Stout. It's called something like that. Because those are Baltic porters too. I guess it's kind of like inspired by those, because it does remind me a little bit of something like a Nymphios Porto or uh, Vibo Imperial Stout. Um, just with a little more of a burnt character. But um, that's not a bad thing at all, because those two beers are great. So, yeah, it's it's really nice, actually. Rating-wise, for the um, uh, Ama, Broku, Schmeckeller, and Kissmeyer, Drief, Drei von Dänen. It's a really, really tasty Baltic porter. And actually now as I drink it a little more, I get a little more of the honey. Rain wise, I'm actually going to give this a 90. I think it's a really tasty smoked beer. Um, there isn't really any flaws with it. Uh, and I really like the balance between sweetness and roast, which uh, sometimes I think can be a little bit overdone. Especially, I, I'm not, I, I think I'm more keen on sweeter beers than those really intense roasted ones where they're just totally burnt. Um, this really balance it out nicely. So yeah, this is a really tasty smoked uh, Baltic Porter, guys, on 9.5%, so it's a, it's a pretty big beer. So yeah, 90 for the Drei von Dänen by Amar Borkus, Mekar, and Anders Kismayer. And guys, let me know what you think about this Amar beer if you've had it. I think it's really nice but, uh, nice, but that's probably also because I like smoky beers like that. Maybe if you don't like smoke too much, you won't like this. But uh, let me know. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter. And I'm going to say cheers, guys. And I'll see you in another beer review.